Oh my God, this is dangerous. I'm between a train and a rock wall. Good God, this is just crazy. Oh my God, this train starts moving, I'm gonna flip out. Quick tour of the kind of outdoorsy hostel. There's kind of outdoorsy, the outfitter and hostel. And just up the street here is the Doyle Hotel under new ownership and management, slowly being renovated. Well, I am leaving Duncannon, walking through town, and Let's see how uh, the day shapes up. I got a big steep climb first thing. <laughs> Seems to be the theme. Big steep climb. After I get through town, I have to walk through town first. I wanted to give a shout out to Phyllis. Phyllis bought me a beer. Using my link down in the description there. Treated me to a beer, which I enjoyed last night at the Doyle Hotel. So thank you very kindly for your generous contribution. It's always a special treat when I get to town and find out someone's bought me a beer. <laughs> Dilemma. I think the trail continues on the other side of these tracks, but there's a train sitting here blocking it, and I don't know how, how I can get across. I don't want to go climbing between train cars. I mean, that, that could be dangerous. So I'm gonna. The end of the train is right here. I'm gonna go across and peek around it, see if I can walk between the train and the wall. Yep. I can see the post down there. Christ's sake, this is insane. So I've got a walk. Oh my God, this is dangerous. I'm between a train and a rock wall trying to get to the trailhead. There's the post. Clearly this is the way I go. Good God, this is just crazy. Don't they know that hikers have to come here? Why wouldn't they pull the train up farther so I don't have to do this nonsense? Good God. Oh my God, if this train starts moving, I'm gonna flip out. Oh my God. Jesus. I can't believe I gotta do this. Oh, at least there's room. Oh my God, trash. Oh my God. 
There's the post. Oh. Yeah, so what are hikers coming the other way doing? Holy crap. Yeah, see? There's a sign. Holy crap. Okay. There's a kiosk. Please cross the road directly. Do you want to climb over or under Park Trains? Name is Starboard. Yeah, okay. Thanks a lot. So here it is. There's a the trail. Here's the marker on the wall. And I just had to walk down. Oh my god, that was crazy. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this, but now there's an engine coming up to right where I just walked behind a couple minutes ago. I don't know if you can see that. I can zoom in. Whoa. Yep, he just slammed into the back. See him with the headlight? Oh my god, I just narrowly missed having this guy come up and he's probably going to start pushing his trains. Oh my god. He's hooking up to him. Oh my god. I just literally just was right, right there. Wow. That was way too close. That's my second close encounter with a train. Goodness gracious. Maybe it's just me, but I don't get a real warm, fuzzy feeling when I'm walking down a trail and there's a giant rock formation looming over me. <laughs> Looking like it's ready to give way any moment. Yikes. Someone must have said, just in case someone doesn't see this blaze, I'll put one on the very next tree. So the trail goes that way, but check out that slot. Yeah, that was a I am not an expert, but I think this might be poison ivy. I keep seeing it alongside the trail. If it's not poison ivy, it's something that looks very similar to it. Regardless, I am going to avoid this plant wherever I see it. Well, I've been walking through rock maze for a while, so I thought, well, I'll take you along on this little segment here as I weave between the rocks. You can see the blaze right there. and. Uh, figure out how I'm gonna get through here. Oh. Yeah. Like, uh, there's my next blaze right there. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go up here on this rock. And back down and over this rock. Oh boy. Whew. Okay. That wasn't that wasn't too bad. Get over this little guy here. All right. Whew. Anyway, so that was a that little segment of rock mazes. But there's been several like that. It's part of the fun. Just wanted to reiterate something when you're walking across rocks like these. You know, they're big. They're heavy. They look pretty stable. You know, you just got to step from rock to rock. But every once in a while, you step on a rock like this one. So, you can quickly lose your balance if you step on a rock that looks stable and it wobbles or shifts underneath you. So, that's a lesson I've learned to go very slowly and carefully make sure I've got a stable rock I'm stepping on before I put all my weight on it. Here's another example. Big, heavy, stable looking rock. You can see that. It wobbles. So... Really got to be careful out here. So I'm just leaving Clark's Ferry Shelter. I don't know why they call it Clark's Ferry Shelter. There's no ferry up here. We're uh, on a mountain. <laughs> I don't know where the ferry would be. But this train is a little, a little rocky. It's not a lot of up and down at this point. Some, oops. Rock just uh, wobbled because of these rocks. Um, it's slow going, and I don't know what to expect up ahead. Uh, it could get easier. I could have more boulder field. It's supposed to rain overnight and through the morning until around 9 a.m., then kind of dissipating. So I'd rather sleep in the shelter just to not have to deal with a wet tent in the morning. That's a beautiful view 
Unfortunately, it's bisected by these power lines, which are connected to this tower, which I can hear buzzing, and which straddles the Appalachian Trail. So I literally have to go underneath the tower. Sure enough, it's starting to look and feel like rain. Getting colder, getting cloudier, getting foggy. It's going to be raining tonight. Well, I made it to Peter's Mountain Shelter. There's just one problem. There's about a dozen of us here, and the privy is full. Yes, full. I mean, to the rim, full. That's going to make an interesting morning. A lot of people out in the woods digging cat holes, I guess.